Hello everybody, this is Jim and we're going to continue our discussion on HTML5. Today's lesson is going to be a little bit more fun than the others. Before we get on to the hardcore coding stuff, we're going to talk about the internet and exactly what you're getting yourself into. So let's go ahead and talk about the following lessons. We're going to talk about the evolution of computers, computers from yesterday, how it was invented, what it is today, and you know, how did it evolve to the handheld devices that we see every day. The creation of the internet. Just like everything else, the internet was created. How was it created? Whose idea was it? Okay, I think that's important to know. And then, of course, finally, the history of the internet. We'll discuss the history back then, the internet today, and most importantly, the internet tomorrow. All right, let's go forward. So, big question. What is the internet? Well, if you break the word apart, inter and then net, it's basically called inter-network. Okay, let's get this right. Internetwork. Now, yesterday, the network is basically a, you have a central source, which was called, at one point, a mainframe. And in that mainframe, you had a bunch of computers surrounding it. Draw these boxes, represent computers. Thankfully, this is not an art class. But these boxes all represent different computers. Well, computers were around way back when, back since the 1950s. But these computers here were independent entities. There was no way to really have one computer to interconnect or communicate with the other. So the mainframe solved that. With the mainframe, the computers can all connect to this mainframe that promotes file sharing, which was a big help. Okay, Now, the mainframe is being dissolved into a router. Technology increased, speeds improved. So instead of a router, now, computers can actually talk to each other. Okay? So these red arrows you see here represent communication between computers. And they can go across. And I know I'm creating a mess, but I'll tell you this right now. You try to map a actual network. This looks pretty good. This is very simple. But Imagine a spider web and how complex that is. That's the internet. It is a communication or connection of different computers anywhere around the world. 